earlier on. So I haven't really vlogged a lot uh, recently. Um, just out in my garden. I thought it'd be nice and sitting inside. It's been scorching hot the last few days in England. The next week I'm going to be away in Prague. So I'm really excited to be going away and uh, going to explore. One of the things that we're doing while we're away is we're going to a festival called Fluff Fest and it's a massive, well, I say it's massive. It's a festival in the Czech Republic in Roshani, Brokini, I can't pronounce that word. Um, and it's really DIY, really punk, loads of hardcore bands. We're gonna go see Earth Crisis, Culture, Blacklisted, uh, some other bands renounced to playing as well. So I'm really excited to go. And then we're spending a few days in Prague. I'm definitely gonna be making some video content while I'm out there, but I wanted to talk about what I'm doing with this, what I'm doing with this YouTube channel. You see, the thing I love about YouTube is the ability to make whatever you want. And I've been really enjoying a lot of daily vloggers. I enjoy people like Ben Brown. I enjoy people like my friend Curtis. Um, people that make amazing daily content. But I work 40 hours a week. And frankly, I don't know if that's a realistic thing for me to be doing. You see, when you daily vlog, you've got to really put a lot of energy into that. You've got to put a lot of energy into not just the filming side of things, which is easy enough. That's why people enjoy things like Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter so much because it's really instantaneous. You can just go and it's done. But with vlogging, you have to edit it. I've got to edit this video. I'm flying out tonight as well, so I'm hoping I can get that done. I don't know, I'm hoping this is going to get uploaded in time. I didn't really think this would be a good video unless I showed some records off. So I know a lot of people are just tuning in to see that. Um, let's go take a look at some records. I'm going to head back inside. So I've been traveling around, we've been to some different places and we've been doing lots of different things. Uh, one of the things we did was we went to go see Norma Jean in Chester. Nothing happens in Chester. There's nothing really going on. We did have an amazing time. We got away to go and see the Peak District and explore there. There's going to be a vlog going up about that that um, Beth is editing. We filmed it together, kind of. I did most of it and then she was picking up the camera from time to time. So that's going to go up. The first record I've got though um, is from a record shop up in Chester. Um, this is Jay-Z, Magna Carta, Holy Grail. This is the front cover. It's a gatefold. The records are black, so I won't show them. They've got this cool little inner sleeve with a kind of a indented cover there. The really interesting thing about this LP is on the back, um, apparently there's a flexi disc in here that you can cut out and it's got another track on it. Maybe I'll cut open a record <laughs> on camera soon but I didn't really want to do that right now. My favourite songs on this record are the first song um, which has got Justin Timberlake on. I really like um, Somewhere in America. Yeah a lot of really upbeat songs. Tom Ford's probably the best pop song on there. We went to go see Beyonce, that was really fun. I didn't get anything from the Beyonce show, but she was mashing up some Jay-Z in there as well. Lots of nice video going on. Go look at my Instagram, linked up there. You can see a picture from Beyonce. These girls are probably some of my favorite that make music. This is Tegan and Sarah, Love You To Death. I got this from the Tegan and Sarah show. This record is on a color. It's on a clear white creamy color. It's got a little insert there shot of the band as well. Here's the back cover. The builders are banging next door, I really hope they shut up. Love You To Death is, I think, their ninth record. It's um, been a long time for Tegan and Sarah. I've been following them since uh, just after So Jealous, right before they released The Con. Um, and I was really, really into The Con because Hunter from AFI had written on that record and he'd been uh, helping produce it as well. I like Alanis Morissette, angsty, folky, singer-songwriter type vibe and now they're making this music which um, is pop, but basically it's amazing pop, like really upbeat, in-your-face pop. There's an aeroplane going over. Blink-182, California. I picked this up from my friend Rich in Ignite Records. He does a good job. He let me have this before it was out on sale. Thanks Rich. Um, I promised I wouldn't put it in a blog before it went out. Um, it's an insert, it's a printed insert, and the lyrics are all on the back. 
This is on silver vinyl. Pretty cool. Let's talk about Blink-182. They're an amazing band. If you don't like them, then... I don't know. They're pop punk. They've pretty much always been pop punk, and pop punk for me is something that I've grown up with. It's been around me. I really, really love the direction that Blink-182 are going. Tom DeLonge's no longer in the band, and now Matt Skiba from Alkaline Trio is playing guitar and singing as well. This is really good. This is probably their best record since Adam of the State. I was out shopping with Rich and I realised I didn't ever own this. Earth Crisis, Destroy the Machines, front cover, back cover, there's the insert, there's the lyrics, dedicated to the vegan straight edge. I saw Earth Crisis play this album in full last year and I couldn't really believe I didn't own it on vinyl. I've got other Earth Crisis vinyl, but not this, which is really bad. Don't tell any vegan friends. Right after the last vlog I put up, we went to go see Expire and Cross Me were supporting. Cross Me are a thrashy um, hardcore band. This is their demo, that's the back cover. There's nothing on the inside, it's red vinyl. Cute. This is put out on um, Speedo Wax, which is Rich from Ignite's record label. Go listen to Speedo Wax and endorse him. I don't think I've shown this record, but I really wanted to. It's been sat on my side for a while, like just in the background. This is Snob and the 7 inch. This comes with a really cool poster insert here. And the 7 inch is on black vinyl. This has songs like Quit Your Job, Death Erection. We saw them supporting Death Index, which is a really cool show. Um, I'd really recommend going to see them if you can. They're normally playing in and around London. I believe one of the people in the band works at DIY Space as well, so I think they end up playing a lot of shows there. Not as in your face as Gloss, but still really ferocious, definitely with the content and the subject matter. Last record I got from Rich is Gore. Um, I was told this has got some of um, Cheese recordings on there from uh, the member of Deftones that sadly passed away. I really loved Deftones for the longest time and I was going to buy either White Pony or Gore and I ended up taking home Gore. This comes on white vinyl, it's a double LP, here's the insert, here's the back. This is really good, This the last two Deftones albums I've just been like completely checked out of. This has got lots of layers in it which is what I've always liked about Deftones, it's got a good like punch to it. Um, what can I say? It's great. So that's all the records that I've got to show and I didn't really want to make it too recordy. I just wanted to talk a little bit and talk about what I'm doing. If you think you'd like me to vlog daily, you'd like to see more of that, then comment. Let me know. I know this channel is small and it's growing, but I'm happy to do that. I'm excited to edit the videos that I've got. AFI part two, which I know you're all asking for, will be up very soon when I come back from holiday. I've got a week in Prague, I'm going away camping with my family, and then I'll be back for the summer editing and filming and making lots of videos too. To be honest, I'm just excited to see the world, and I'd rather be showing you guys something than not at all. So there's going to be some content from Prague coming up, that's going to be coming up in the next week or two, there probably will be a week delay. I might make a lot of videos from Prague, I might make just one lovely visual one talking about the festival and the city as well. Go follow me on Instagram and follow me on Snapchat, they're in the end card. And I really hope you enjoy this video, enjoy seeing the records and enjoy keeping up with me as well. Thank you for keep watching and thank you for keep subscribing. I'll see you next time. Bye!